Orthoses are devices such as arch supports and braces that address a joint or muscle problem in the back or extremities. An orthosis can provide artificial support, prevent or correct a deformity, or improve how a weak or painful area functions. You can buy an orthosis off the shelf or have one custom made. Producing a custom made orthosis starts with a thorough examination. A certified professional called an orthotist analyzes the problem area. In the case of this patient, the feet. After a few manual manipulations to test the range of motion and pinpoint weakness or pain, the orthotist uses various instruments to measure the angles of the different parts of the feet. Then it's on to specialized devices that analyze foot position and movement during standing and walking and how body weight is distributed onto the feet. In this scan, the red areas show that more weight is landing on the left foot than on the right. Next, a 3D impression in foam. It goes to the production department where technicians fill it with plaster. Once it dries, they extract an exact model of both feet. Now they can construct the orthosis piece by piece. Most of the components are made of different types of polyurethane, a lightweight thermoplastic. Each type is designed to produce a specific effect at a different phase of the patient's footstep. For example, the blue base is made of rigid polyurethane that holds the foot in the correct position. At the front, dense black polyurethane helps propulsion and reduces stress on that side of the foot. They cover the assembled orthosis with a sheet of glue and put it into a vacuum press. The press applies heat to activate the adhesive. It sucks out the air between the components and compresses them tightly together. When the orthosis comes out, they place it on the model of the corresponding foot. Then it goes into a different vacuum press to mold it to the shape. They add made-to-measure corrective parts in latex foam. Then using hypoallergenic glue, line the orthosis with a soft polyurethane. All that's left to do now is buff the orthosis. This smooths all the surfaces. To ensure the orthosis delivers the goods, the patient redoes the key test while wearing it. Remember that scan showing red areas? They're gone now because the patient's feet now bear her body weight equally. This patient has arrived with a doctor's prescription for a knee brace. The orthotist analyzes his mobility, flexion and balance, then sends the technical specifications to the production department. There, technicians make a model of the leg. They begin by positioning the leg at a 12-degree angle and wrapping it in plaster bandages. While waiting for the fast-set plaster to harden, the patient chooses a decorative pattern for the outside of the brace. The hardened cast serves as a mold. Technicians pour in plaster, let it harden, then remove the cast. After smoothing the surface, they draw technical markings, then install the lightweight aluminum joints that'll enable the orthosis to bend. Now they run a sheet of plastic through an oven. This is high memory plastic, meaning that when you form it, it remembers the shape and maintains it. The design the patient chose comes printed on transfer paper. They use a laser thermometer to ensure the plastic is at the perfect temperature for the pigments to penetrate properly. They carefully position the hot decorative plastic on the model. Using a vacuum bag, they remove the air and press the plastic on tightly. The plastic sets in about two minutes, maintaining the form. They cut the required shape, line the inside, and sand the edges smooth. Finally, they attach straps to fasten the orthosis to the leg. The orthotist checks the fit on the patient, then runs various tests to make sure the orthosis is doing exactly what it's designed to do.